everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I ran out of space on my table for this actual unboxing. So what I'm going to do is do an unboxing over here um, of this electric scooter from GoTrax. It's the XR Elite, and take it out of the box, and then we'll be doing some other testing outside and doing a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but I really just want to kind of do an unboxing quickly here. Typically, don't go on camera a lot. <laughs> On the channel uh, I am in my quarantine shirt and still have not gotten a haircut or a, a beard trim in a while so I'm looking a little bit like a mountain man but I uh, just ignore that and let's focus on the scooter so uh, so I did get this from go tracks and this is their, their new XR elite which is their higher end I guess uh, from a spec standpoint scooter so this has a 300 watt motor has a bunch of other features um, that I will kind of talk about subsequently when I, I kind of do a little bit of an overview. But at this point, what I want to do is just do an unboxing, kind of pull this out of the box. Uh, this is how it came, uh, just in this big uh, cardboard box. I just want to take it out and kind of place it here. Let's just see what is in the package. And then I can, from there, do a quick assembly. I'll show it uh, fully assembled. And then we'll do uh, some testing and, and a bunch of other things at a later point and which will be included in this video. So right now, again, I already kind of un undid the tape because I didn't know if there was an inner box inside of this um, and there's not. So it's basically just right in here. So if we open it up, basically you have the XR Elite scooter manual, need help. How do you do that? Find out their website. And this is the black uh, version that, it, that I got. So it's black, it's got the white. You know, basically a little bit of information here. Should be fairly easy to put together. It's only a couple screws uh, to mount the handlebar on the top and all of that. But uh, yeah, so I guess I, since I have it here, I can just talk about the specs real quick. So top speed of 15.5 miles, 15.5 miles per hour. Uh, distance per charge of 18 miles, weight range up to 220 pounds. Uh, the battery type is 36 volt, 7.8 amp hours. Has a 42 volt, 2 amp charger. Uh, takes four hours to charge from from empty. 300 watt uh, motor, and some other cool features that we'll take a look at when we're actually uh, testing it out and all of that. So right now I'm gonna. Take this out of the box and we'll kind of see what's in here. This looks like a extension for inflating the tires, potentially. Get a hex key, Allen wrench. This is the handlebar. See how it connects. Got your LCD panel here, which will tell speed and some other things. Got your brake handle, bell, throttle on the right. Some other things here. So take a look at that. And if I do look at this, basically the assembly instructions look pretty simple. You get the four millimeter Allen key wrench, and that's included. Basically unfold it, make a few connections. Should be pretty easy to put together. So this looks to be the charging cable. So here's the charger. Kind of looks just like a standard laptop charger sort of deal. Um, plug it in and then plug it in. I'm actually going to have to put this on the floor and I'll pull it out and put it up back on the counter. So this is Kind of what it looks like. I don't know if it's hard to see. I will use a different camera in a, in a little bit to 
zoom in a little bit more on it, or I'll take this camera off and, and do it. But basically you have So you have this mechanism up here where you can fold. You can pull this and basically fold back the handlebars and it clips on the back. This, this uh, front clip up here you can't see right now uh, will clip on the back. You know, that's basically how it stands up by itself. It's got air-filled tires, front-mounted motor hub. It's got a kind of like a disc brake in the back. So what I'm going to do is just quickly put this together. Um, it's too hard to kind of do this all on camera. Um, looks pretty simple, but I'm just going to put it together and then I'll give you an overview of the uh, scooter once it's, it's, once it's assembled. And then we can uh, go from there. Okay? All right, thanks. So basically to get this thing turned on or get this thing set up all I had to do was attach the uh, tiller or the handlebar at the top and you can see there's just two screws here that you have to kind of undo and then um, basically take a little rubber plastic cap off connect the three wires there's uh, two power connections it look like and another wire for the accelerator control and then just hook those up and then just kind of push the wires back down the tube and then just put this uh, hook attachment back on and the two screws. And then all I had to do was connect the brake line to the brake handle. So then, you know, basically can actuate the brakes. See there's a headlight up there, front reflector, couple reflectors down here. It's pretty solid plastic kind of uh, gravel guards, mud guards, whatever you want to call them. Go tracks logo. These are uh, rubber tires, air inflated. Se seem pretty sturdy um, from at least a, what I can tell here. Obviously you got your kickstand. This is the folding mechanism they mentioned. You basically kind of pull this out, pull this down, and then you can flip the handlebar down. And then the handlebar kind of catches on this part of the rear fender or rear mud guard. So you could just break, uh, brake assembly, a couple reflectors back here as well. This one uh, is supposed to light up. So as you're going and you put on the brake while you're driving, that should light up. This is just a standard reflector. This has a little bit of wobble to it, but I think that's obviously by design. The uh, foot pad is pretty wide actually. You know, it's pretty big, nice rubber. Has some raised areas, kind of give you some traction. Like I said, nice kickstand. GoTracks logo there on the side. This is what it looks like. See so here, you can turn it on. And you can see, basically you got your speed, your battery level. And it's got a pretty nice little headlight. You can turn on and off. It does have cruise control as well. So as you're driving, if you press this for 10 seconds, it should keep you going the speed you're going. Yeah, I mean, basically that's it. Turn on the headlight, turn off the headlight. Hold it for five seconds or so to totally turn off. So now these are also, you can't just press it from a, uh, a total stop. 
you actually have to kind of push off and get going a little bit before it will turn on the turn on the motor which is basically a safety feature so you don't accidentally <laughs> hurt yourself I guess so I can't really test it obviously I'm in my basement here so next part of the video I'm going to take this outside and we'll uh, get it rigged up and do some test driving maybe get a better view of it in the in the driveway or whatever where I have a little bit more room to film but I just wanted to basically show the unboxing part and just the quick assembly of this and it does not take that long to assemble it took me about eight minutes <laughs> I guess uh, you know eight or you know five to ten minutes basically to just just put it together it's pretty quick so I will jump on over and we'll head outside. So my kids and I had a lot of fun with this thing today. We drove a little bit in a forest preserve and then there was a bike trail that I was driving on towards the end there. And I have to say that this scooter is a lot of fun. It does have the 15.5 max miles per hour max speed and, and when you hit that it just won't go any faster. And actually if you're going downhill it actually seems to slow itself to 15.5 miles per hour. So that is the max speed as it says and it actually means the max speed. 
The brakes work really well. It has kind of like that electronic slash physical rear brake. You know, had no problem stopping. Actually, if you squeeze too hard, you could really easily almost fall off because it stops really fast. So that's really great for, you know, I don't know, in and out of traffic or if you're commuting, you really need to be able to stop quickly. And that's great. It did struggle a little bit going up various inclines and slowed down to maybe six to eight miles an hour on some of those inclines, depending on how, you know, how inclined it there they actually was. I'm a little bit of a heavier type of guy. So maybe if you're lighter, it will do a little bit better there. But uh, overall, it was okay, you know. I, I mean, it, it's doable if I was riding long distance, not a problem. Very comfortable to ride on. Air-filled tires are great, you know, offer a little bit of bump suspension, you know, just from the, the tires themselves. We'll see how those last over time, you know. I don't know if they're prone to getting leaks or that sort of thing because they are air-filled. But they are definitely more comfortable than a few other scooters I've ridden in the past that have solid rubber wheels. Those are just like really terrible to ride on. Uh, folds up really easily. Pop it in my trunk, in and out. All in all, I think this is a great scooter. The one thing I didn't test, I mean, is that, you know, it says 18.6 miles of travel distance. Obviously, that depends on a lot of different things. You know, how level the ground is that you're riding on, the weight of the rider, the speed that you're driving. All I can say at this point is, you know, we spent a good hour, hour and a half riding around on this thing, and I still had a good amount of battery left. So it seems like it will last a pretty good amount of time before needing recharging. So all in all, I think I'm pretty happy with the performance of this and the amount of time that I've had to kind of test it out and try it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. And if you're looking for a scooter in this price range, the three to $400 price range, you might want to check out the XR Elite by GoTrax. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.